Perfection, but I tried. That was okay, isn't that fine, you guys? Live performance. Woo! Oh my god, let me catch my breath. I love you, Denver, but I hate your altitude. It's a bitch. Woo! Not to mention, I came here, and when I woke up this morning, the first thing that Latrice Royale said is, Get up, man, we're going to the dispensary. So I got up, I went with her to the dispensary. We had a fabulous time, we made friends. We came back, we rolled up breakfast. And we got our day started off just right. And when I say, whew, now you guys, I'm like a career smoker, okay? I smoke you all the day, all the time, all day, every day. Thank God I am wearing red right now because my eyes are so red! I'm charming as a motherfucker. But let me just say, I am so happy to be here with you guys. You guys are such an amazing audience. Give it up for yourselves. I love being here during the holidays because the holidays is just such an amazing time to be around the people that you love and making fun memories and traditions. You know, actually just a couple shows ago, made a really great memory with Miss Cracker. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but she is a genius. And she discovered a new word, ladies and gentlemen. So, she was doing a little Google search. She was talking to Caitlin, you guys know Caitlin? Time for dinner! Yeah. And she was just like, Caitlin, I need you to Google a star-spangled corset. And we were like, and she said it again. She's like, I need a star spankled corset. And we were like, um, girl, you know it's spangled, right? Which, you know what? I'm like, I'm not one to charge because I don't know what ramparts are. And I don't know why we're watching them either. Yes! You know what I'm saying? But we decided, we are like, let's look up spangled. And it does exist. You guys ready for the definition? Spangled. Someone with such a small ass that it goes straight from spine to ankle. Yeah. And we're all like, poor Blair St. Clair. That really sucks. You know? And so, like, in coming on this Christmas, you know, you start to, like, develop all these, like, memories being on these tours, you know, because the holidays, they bring up so many memories. And, um... My experiences with Santa Claus were a little bit different than other people's, only because I'm the youngest of five kids, and every Christmas when we would go to like open up our presents, and you know who the you know you see the little tags where they're addressed from, um, the things like the Nintendo and the Bop It and the Sega Genesis and the Barbie Dreamhouse all came from mom and dad. And then things like the Reese's in your stocking, the wool socks, the Hanes t-shirts, those all came from Santa. And so a couple years back, we were all together, all of us, and we were like, Mom and Dad, like, why did you guys always like address like the gifts that we like hated? Why did you always like, you know, say that those are from Santa? My mom dropped her fork and she was like, look. <laughs> I got up every single day at 5 a.m. to go to a job where I worked 40 plus hours a week, saving my pennies all year round for five kids with expensive ass taste. So I will be damned if I get the credit to some old white man that don't exist. She said, oh no, every time you play that Nintendo, you know that came from me and my love for you. And I was just like, yes, my mama taught me she was such a great example of what it was to be an amazing, strong black woman. And the other great example is Eureka O'Hara. So I can't ah! shut up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I'm being a fool. I'm gonna go backstage. I'm gonna change this to something a little bit less comfortable. You guys ready for some more show? Yes! I can't 
can't believe she outed me like that. I never said spangled in my life. I'm an English major, damn it! Lord of heaven. One more round of applause for Shay Fillet, everybody! A great ship sails. Now this is what I noticed during that speech that I really loved, coming from a family of alcoholics, was the jerk off in the front row. You are my favorite person to show, and I will tell you why. We're gonna do a little acting class here, everybody. <laughs> this is how a regular person returns to their group with a drink. They're like, where's my group? Oh, there they are. I'll go sit with them. <laughs> now, for an hour, right? This is how an alcoholic returns from the bar to his group. <laughs> You had two in each hand. <laughs> looking like the hamburger, like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anywho, thank you so much. A round of applause for this man. He touched me. <laughs> thank you. It's a good thing you're pretty, because you're in this. All right. <laughs> Now everyone, speaking of alcoholism, I'm so glad to bring this next girl to the stage. This is what it looks like when you put Patron in a beaded dress. <laughs> Patron! Everybody, I love this girl. She is truly the heart of this tour. Miss 